I don't understand why I can't talk at this meeting. Because when you talk, it enrages people. <laughs> okay. Well, a quick question. Am I allowed to exchange pleasantries upon meeting this colonel? Yes. Am I allowed to inform him that Colonel Sanders was never actually in the military? I'm getting enraged. I... <laughs> oh, can I use text-to-speech software? No. Don't speak. Aw, nuts. Do it! I'm Colonel Williams. Thank you for meeting with me. Hi. Hello. <laughs> so, which one of you is the brains behind all this? It's a group effort. But I, I guess if we had to pick a main brain, it would be me. <laughs> <laughs> and because of the quantum vortices, this can run perpetually? Exactly. Yeah, you have a good grasp of the physics. Well, I'm a scientist by training. Really? You're a physicist? Better. I'm an engineer. <laughs> Where did you go to school? MIT. Well, hey, me too. I should have known behind every great invention's an MIT mine. I'll cut to the chase. The Air Force believes there's an application for this technology, and we're interested in funding your research. Well, thanks. But you should know we're a little concerned about this being used in weapons. Oh, well, let me put your mind at ease. What we use it for is none of your business. <laughs> I don't know how I feel about this. Look, guys, it's just a guidance system. It's not like you're handing us the Death Star from Star Trek. <laughs> All you need to worry about is right now it's this big, and we need it to be this big. That's a lot less big. <laughs> yes, it's this much less big. <laughs> I'm not even sure that's possible. Well, I ran it by some colleagues at MIT, and they thought they could get it done in four months. Four months? Yeah, we'll do it in two. <laughs> Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Sheldon Cooper. I'm the actual brains behind this project. Uh, also, engineers aren't real scientists. MIT is a trade school, and the Death Star is from Star Wars, not Star Trek. <laughs> but uh, otherwise, thank you for your service. 